Come gabby friends around your flickering campfires and listen to tales of prancing, cantering and flesh-eating horses. Biscuit! No! Come now, Uncle Bob. Bob, don't be silly. We all know war horses were trained to trample and bite, yes. But feasting on flesh? No. Maybe that's true in real life, Tom. But we're not dining in the restaurant of real life, are we, Bilbo? That we are not, Pear Bear. Today we are feasting on mystery soup. We can't stop gorging on these wonderful myths, can we? There's hardly any fat on them, so you can eat as much as you like. What are we doing then? Can't be Norse, as we've had a recent serving. And we had outlandish Welsh fantasy grandstanding delivered last episode. Actually, I'll have you know that I have leftovers and I am prepared to read them. <gasps> it must be Heracles. That's right, listener. He's back. And like a British equestrian getting roundly outed, he's heavy-handedly bitter. Our story begins outside the city of Terida in the kingdom of Thrace, ancient Greece. You'll be needing a bigger fire than that for the coals. No, you don't. You want heat, not flame. We don't want charred lines. But they have lines in the brochure. No, they don't. By the gods, you're a meathead. No, you're a meathead. No, you're the meathead. You're both flipping meatheads. Now be quiet. I'm trying not to burn this thing. A forging fit for a king. Exactly. Well, I still don't see why we need to be here. Because the kingdom of Thrace is huge. Soldiers galore. We get our gear in here and we're made. Oh, right. Well, what didn't you say? Oh, not, not yet. Gotta finish, gotta finish, gotta finish. Yes? Oh, hello there. Is this King Diomedes of Thrace, ruler of the warlike tribe of Bistones? By the gods, what do you want? I'm busy. Hang on. No! No, no, attach them to the manger. The manger. Yes, that bronze thing is a manger. God in right. What do you want? My lord Diomedes, we have travelled far, with much earth beneath our sandals. We have kept the fires hot to feed our forge and... Not interested. But you have loads of soldiers. Thank you. And we have loads of smiths. Ha! Ha! No, you misunderstand. We, sire, are that rare breed of madman. Wandering adventurers. Roving thrill-seekers! Get to the point, you flapping... Morons. We post takeaway menus through doors. Move by the gods. Well, we were hoping you'd buy the kebabs, actually. Get off my porch, or I will have you chased off. Vegetarian? Well, we do a wicked trachana. Porridge? Do we? We do now. It's a great stuff. Well, mainly oats and grains. with onions and mustard. Who'd have thought porridge was to be our salvation? Gentlemen. Ah! King Diomedes. Are those horses? They look angry and hungry. Do your hangry horses like porridge? Oh, I couldn't possibly say. Why don't you let me ask them? Bodago, sweetie, do you like porridge? 
<laughs> By the track spikes of Hermes, she's quick. Yes, for she is Podargos, the first of the mares of Diomedes. Um, lads, my arms is off. Lamp on the shining. You look radiant, darling. Denos? Ah, she's terrible. Oh, don't be cruel. She's a love. Right? Did, did, did you hear me? I said, my arms off. Oh, who's that yellow one? That's Xanthos, the yellow. Do, do they all want porridge? Oh, looks like meat's back on the menu, girls. <laughs> Thirty, wipe down the shrine to mighty Hera. Eleven o'clock, meeting with maintenance. Um, they, they want to know if you need the giant communal toilet cleaning, and if we're still doing callbacks. Are the callbacks landing, Battler? Hard to say, King Eurystice. Then leave it dirty. Very well. That being the case, I should maybe cancel the 11.30 rotation of the Burton Albion merch. By the gods, I'm bored. Why am I sat here, barely dressed, I might add, why am I sat here bored out of my skull? I'm one of the rulers of my city. People should want to come here. This this palace should be a wall-to-wall freakout that would make Dionysus blush. That reminds me, sire. We should really send a letter of apology. He's threatening not to come back. God, what a snowflake. Fine. I'll pen it now, sire, seeing as your ten o'clock is late. <laughs> Well, well, well. Heracles. Yo, what's up? And what time do you call this? Well, I don't know. Quarter past two gives a damn. You, my lad, have become a real sassy pants. Do you know that? At least I wear pants. <clears throat> Sire, the Hydra has strayed from its lair. Enough! I suppose we'll just have to get on with it then. Your eighth labour will be... Oh, do I have to? Yes, you have to, you sarcastic wretch. No wonder the silly history boys don't like you. I don't even like me. Come now, Heracles. I know they seem like they're not paying attention, and your numbers do suck, but they have a great affinity with you. Don't you, listener? <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Not awkward at all, Battler. Give me one good reason to skip your eighth labour, young man. First things first, Eurystes. Just because you're awful doesn't mean you can talk to me like my dad. That's Zeus, and he invented awful. And secondly, it's flipping lonely, all right? I spend labour after labour alone. Running through deserts alone. Hiking snow-blasted mountains alone. And every time I do meet up with a mate, they either end up banished or dead. So excuse me if I'm not raving at the chance to strike out into dangerous isolation again. Your nephew Iolaus didn't die, did he? The Hydra was episode 53 of the Silly History Boys show. And that was ages ago. And you decreed that labour null and void because Iolaus helped me. Fine, you can have a mate this time. Actually, sire, some of the Greek myths do state that Heracles took a whole raft of mates with him on this labour and... One mate. I can't be doing with yet another gross cavalcade of attention start squawking. You, you, you are aware what the silly history boys are, aren't you, sire? 
Well, I'll drop by the Martini Lodge and find a mate then. It's uh, ten in the morning, so I'll set the old standards to low and... Not so fast, you creatine cretin. Oh, how convenient. You found me a mate. I shall go attend to Hera's shrine, my king. Yes, maybe take the big sponge. And let our guest in on the way out. Okay then, my king. What's my eighth labour? You shall steal the mares of Di Horses. Oh, lame. Well, at least I get to steal. The only thing you steal is other people's time, yo. There, I said it. Abderus, what are you doing here? I'm waiting for you. You're nine episodes into your silly Labour Boys show, and I'm yet to be introduced. Hello, my king. I'm Abderus, partner of Heracles. Uh, we have a badminton court booked. Oh, the League. I totally forgot. Well, obviously. Are you ghosting me or what? No, mate. I've just had a lot on. Well, I'm totes free to just hang around waiting for you. Gods, you too. Get a room. I did get a room. A whole batter's court, in fact. Well, now you can get a stable. Off you pop. Or should I say, poop. <laughs> oh, not another stable. Oh, God, I heard about that labour. You have washed, yeah? Yes, Abs. <laughs> that, yes, that labour was great. You stank, Heracles. You stank. You stink. Are these horses freaky poo horses or what, King Eurystes? I hear the mares of Diomedes do weird stuff like breathe fire and still use Twitter. Oh, no, no. These are completely normal horses. With completely normal eating habits. <laughs> Aside to audience. Boring! Okay then, come on, big man. Let's go! He's in so much trouble. <laughs> Ahoy and welcome aboard the good ship Fire Women in Sea. We are going to make a great marks for you there, folks. The three evils, as it were. <laughs> Test the height of that. Don't make a scene, Abs. No, we are currently sailing the Aegean Sea en route to the Kingdom of Thrace. Now, pay attention because Thrace is a geographical and historical region in southeast Europe. Bounded by the Bolton Mountains to the north, the Aegean Sea to the south, and the Black Sea to the east. It comprises of present-day southeastern Bulgaria, that's northern Thrace for those of you paying attention, northeastern Greece, that's western Thrace, and the European part of Turkey, that's east Thrace. We should arrive in Bistonia in around one day, so make yourselves comfortable. Bistonia? Um, ex excuse me, sir, Bistonia? Whoever is, Carmen, excuse we Excuse me, sir! What? Oh, great, now I've lost my wiki page now. Questions in the end, please, young sir. But Bistonia? Is that like a boozy latte? What? No. Oh, shame. As Bistonia, as in King Diomedes of Thrace, ruler of the warlike tribe of Bistonis. What? Ah, oh, tea out. This is so basic, yo. Hey, OG, when's the buffet car? We're wise, young sir. We tend not to use G in these parts, nor do we use O. K, Boomer. But just because you can't outrun time doesn't mean you should run out on moisturising, lol. I'm 28. And? And a buffet cart will be along shortly. We're having a twofer on the breakfast burger. Ooh, what's the breakfast burger? Oh, let's not go there, Abs. Excuse me, salty sea captain. We're on a bit of a sightseeing tour of Thrace, if you have any pointers. Oh, yes, sir. We have maps of the stars available on disembarkation. I'll put you down to one. Do you both need one, or are you partners? I don't know. The League is on hiatus. Uh, would the Palace of Diomedes be on that map? Oh, gosh, yeah, that's in the city of Tereda. He's one of our most popular stops. Are you interested in King Diomedes? You know that he's the son of Ares. The god of war and courage? Oh, yes, please! But wait, Heracles? That makes Diomedes your nephew! Eesh! Can you ancient Greeks get a deeper gene pool or what? Little secret for you, Abs. 
We're all related. Now, whatevs? How about you whatevs? The three different sources I checked, saying you're either my cousin or nephew. Oh, yeah. So think about that as you're splashing around in the shallow end. Ew, gross! This is my return of the Jedi. Yeesh, well, I'm glad you're all enduring yourselves. Uh, the life vets are into the seats, and if anyone wants me, I'll be on the bridge hard cutting us to the stables of Diomedes. What are you doing? You're too close, man. I'm sorry, King Diomedes. These mares are really snappy. Yeah, well, they get that way when they're peckish, don't you, my little cherubs? <laughs> it may not be my place to say, as I'm only your head groom, but I think it's all the human flesh you've been feeding them, sire. Nonsense. We all know that the consumption of visiting strangers keeps hoofs strong and coats glossy. Isn't that right, my dear queens? Whatever keeps them glossy, I suggest we get it down them. They're getting restless. Stable them, groom. By that you mean... Tether them to the bronze, Major, yes. I am returning to the palace to watch the ships come in. Dindins for my little puddings. <laughs> You can come out now. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you ask me, King Diomedes is a pretty savage dude. That he is, Minty. That he is. Now, listen, if you're going to work here, you're going to have to learn how to keep your head down. I just spent the last 20 minutes hiding under a trough, mate. You don't want to end up as an horse dove, do you? Yeah, yeah, very funny. Why can't they just eat normal horse food like... Don't you dare say, oh, jeez. They ate the taste. So they only eat young people? Good thing I hid, mate, because I am young. No, silly. Oh, as in the stuff that rhymes with goats and... I said goats, you four-legged murder melts. Oh, the illegal puppy farm of Artemis, I hate it here. Then why stay, guy? Yolo! Believe it or not, Mince, it's a pretty sweet gig. If you can get past the whole flossing menu delivery guy out of the teeth of horses bit, that is. That's it. Eat, sleep, floss, repeat. Sounds way dull, guy. Go to race, they said. Intern for a murderous nut job, they said. Where's the action, man? It can't all be heroes and quippy one-liners, lad. Most of the time it's mops in a bucket for the bits. To the trough! It's Diomedes! Ew! What smells like off-meat and rotting fruit, yo? We've either stumbled into James Corden's dressing room, or that, Abs, is the smell of death. Why do the stables smell of death? Who the devil are you? Don't tell him, Heracles! Ah, uh, nice one. Wait, that name is familiar. Um, I'm Weir from, uh, the Thracian Horse Relocation Squad. Ew, that was as weak as your backhand. Oh, shut up. Um, Diomedes sent us to move the horses. Nonsense. If there's any horse shifting to be done, it'll be done by me. I'm the head groom. <laughs> Consider yourself swept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, uh, as quickly one line as go, that was okay, mate, but it probs could do with some workshopping, yeah? Overpower him, Abs. <laughs> oh! I don't my keys. Right, I just need to snap these iron chains and... <laughs> <laughs> Drive them to the sea! Whoa! This one's as snappy as me when I don't get my boozy latte! Ooh, that burn, lol. Yeah, they all seem a bit teethy, don't they? He did what? Landed on his keys, sire. No, not that. Heracles and the stealing of my girls! Yeah, woke up and they were gone, sire. Yeah, I'll pay for this, Uncle Heracles. Be careful, sire. That fella tore the iron chains asunder with his mighty strength. I hear he's half-god, sire. 
And what am I, half-chopped liver? Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Tell my generals to muster the men. We head for the sea. I really did like Megara, Heracles. Like, so much. She was good at fixing things, and she always smelled nice. I'm super sorry that tragedy befell you. Thank you, Abs. That means a lot. She liked you as well. Um. <clears throat> and you smell great too. Thanks. Oh, that hair is a proper witch. Tell me about it. But do you know who I think I'm really mad at? Your dad. Yes! All I want is for him to take responsibility for his own actions. Or at least have a sliver of understanding regarding how he impacts people. There's a great book called Adult Children of Emotionally Immature Parents that... Abs, wait. Diomedes. Abs, wait here with the horses. I've got to take care of this once and for all. Be careful, Heracles. Diomedes is half god of war. Um, hello? I'm also half god. But which half, eh, friend? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll be back. Okay, but hurry. Relax, Abderus. And don't stray too far, yeah? Oh, but these horses are freaking me out. Come on, man, not too far. They're not gonna eat ya. Well, he's making short work of those chumps. I probably should have guessed that, really. I did say of God, sir. Oh, my demigod, will you shut up? Right, groom, roll up my sleeves. I'd better do this myself. Please be quick, sire. We need to find the maze. They'll be super hangry by now. And it's not really about the League, you know? I mean, yeah, sure, I love a bit of badass, and it's great to get a sweat on, and a rippling six-pack is a sweet side effect. But the fact is, he cuts me out emotionally, you know? <laughs> He's not a big talker anymore, and that takes a toll on your insides, your mental insides, yo. No. <laughs> Oh, you're such a good listener. And Yellow looks just fabulous on you, girlfriend. <laughs> yes, you drip like a girl boss too, Lampon. So shiny. <laughs> oh, and gosh, you're all so thirsty. Or perhaps you're hungry. Oh, right, let's see what we've got in our bag of tricks here. <laughs> Stop it, lamp on that tickles! Stop crowding me, Podargos! <laughs> Girls, please! There's enough for everyone! Ouch, Danoff! No pinching! <laughs> and here we are! Some lovely oats and grains! <laughs> oh, knickers! <laughs> And scene. Well, that was fun. Oh, hi, Diomedes. Oh, oh, were those your best men? Heracles. You look well. Yeah, nothing like a bit of horse rustling and punching your elite army goons in the face to keep oneself trim. I plan to smash in a breakfast burger when I'm done with you. A breakfast burger? For dinner? You freaks, sir. <laughs> what can I say? I'm semi-retired. Well, let's see if I can't just fully retire you. Bring it on, horse boy. Oh, it shall be brung. By the gods, what was that? I feel like I've had a Trojan horse dropped on me. The whoosh clang sound effect. <laughs> yeah, they're rife round here. I make sure not to be in the way. Heracles, come on. This is most unfair. And these 
manacles are really pinchy, you know. We were supposed to have a mighty wrestle. Our bodies locked in epic combat, each man questioning himself. Have I finally met my match? Where does he find the strength? Did I leave my keys in my pocket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look forward to the graphic statues in our honor. And then, after a long and even scrap, you just about win. Just about, though. Listen, Diomedes, I'll level with you. I'm proper phoning it in right now. I just don't care. What? The most famous demigod doesn't care? They're only silly labors, Diomedes. Atoning for something unatonable. I can't get back what I've lost. Well, what sort of an attitude is that? Oh, boo-hoo-hoo, all that I've lost. If you're always pining for what you've lost, you risk losing what you have. What I have? You know what, Diomedes? You might be an off-kilter equine weirdo, but you've got a point. There's a cocktail on the boat with a breakfast burger chaser to have. Bad you, sir. Bah! <laughs> Abs is gonna love this. Are you talking to your taut stomach? Ugh, man, we get it. Your heart, okay? And you can eat what you like. I cannot. Abderus is my traveling companion and confidant. He's been wanting that breakfast burger since we pushed off. Well, I hope he's on the boat right now, having the last one. Ah, shut up. He's with the horses. What? You left him with... <coughs> the mares of Diomedes? Why'd he say it all weird like that? Like what? With such foreboding. Oh, no reason. Hey, is this Abderus a young man? <laughs> yeah, prime of his life. Uh huh? Fit and healthy? <laughs> it's sickening, really. He eats rubbish and drinks like an ecthes. Drinks to excess? No. Well, 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 yes, but come on. The ecthes? They're those fish who saved Aphrodite and Eros from the monstrous Typhius. They're immortalized in the sky as the constellation Pisces. Mad. Ugh, read a book. The monster was going to eat them. And and the fish saved them? Yes. From getting eaten? Yes. What is your deal, guy? I'm just fascinated with you being so anti-people getting eaten. God, you're acting like you're pro-people getting eaten. Wait. Are you... Pro people getting eaten? Do you eat people? Good God, no. I just like to watch people getting eaten. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Looks like I've missed the show. Show? What show? Abs? Abderus? I guess he got to know what a breakfast burger feels like. <laughs> no. No, it can't be true. That's... that's jam, right? Tell me your horse is a partial to eating jam. Man jam, maybe. <laughs> you savage monster! Careful now, Heracles. They still look hungry. They do, don't they, Diomedes? But hey, that's weird. They seem to be fixating on you. It's like watching the silly history boys share a menu at an Indian restaurant. So much saliva and jostling. What? No! This can't be! Who ordered the mixed grill? That was straight up the worst thing I've ever seen. And I peeled a heavily sunburnt James Corden off a banana boat in 2011. By the gods, how long have you been there? Long enough to know that the breakfast burger is ruined for me. You want it? No, thank you. What about the horses? I mean, I was going to say they look quite hungry, but they actually look quite serene, no? Feasting on their master seems to have sated their frenzied craving for flesh. Right. Cool, cool. You, uh, want to go home, or, uh, can I go and be violently sick? No, go for it. 
I have something to do. You, uh, want me to sing Amazing Grace? In honor of the slain Abderos, I claim that upon this gravesite, the city of Abdera shall rise. In honor of Abderos, may the city expensively honor the entertaining of great men and be conquered many, many times. That was beautiful. Thank you, Captain. Okay, let's go. Are there more blasted bush clangs than usual? That one almost got me. If they're coming thick and fast, that's usually a good indication that... Eurystes! Oh, they didn't eat him. Welcome back, oh mighty Heracles. <laughs> Keep those horses away from me, you balloon muscled buffoon. They eat people, you know. You might have told me that before they ate Abderus. Oh, Poop, did I neglect to mention? Whoopsie. But still, keep them away from me. They seem rather docile, sire. Spent the return journey telling them about your workout routine, eh, Heracles? <laughs> nope, they're just full of Diomedes. And with that, the labour is done. And with that, I, King Eurystheus, dedicate the mares of Diomedes to the most beautiful goddess of them all. Get the sponge. Hera. <sighs> and I'll get gone. Don't leave them here. They might have a taste for king now. Not my problem. Wait! I need your stupid balloon muscles because, yes, yes, I have an idea. Dark sire. <laughs> Lightning! What time do you call this, you little slug? I'm going to give you such a... Oh, sorry, I thought you were my Amazon. Heracles, is that you? Yeah, hi, Dad. I'm here too, mighty Zeus. King Eurystheus, my scene diversion. Oh, yes. Hello, Eurystheus. Uh, what... So what do you want? I was just in the area doing some dedicating in the name of Queen Hera. <laughs> is, um, is she in by any chance? She specifically asked not to be in this episode, I'm afraid. Oh, yes, quite. I'm busy, too. Uh, we kings were very important. Busy, 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 busy. Right, then. I have with me the Mills of Diomedes, and I'm here to offer them to you, O oh, mighty Zeus, for sacrifice. Are you insane, Eurystheus? I beg your pardon? Do not want these flipping horses? They're almost as scary as your last Tory-themed wall-to-wall palace freakout. Ah, but unlike the Tory-themed freakout, these horsey faces are done gnashing and blowing. They calmed down when they feasted on Diomedes. Once again, I question your sanity, Eurystheus. They feasted on my grandson. Now they have a taste for my delicious bloodline. Well, they were cool with me, Dad, even when... No, I won't have it. Just adding to my Amazon. Wolves, uh, lions, and... Ooh, bears. Accepted. Yeah, that ought to take care of those murder moves. Mares. Whatever. Mature, Dad. Not mature, Heracles. Experienced. 
Right? Uh, call me when this episode is a bit more me-centered. It's very dull. I've just discovered chaos on Netflix. I love a bit of Goldblum. <laughs> Who is in turn loving a bit of me? Lucky, lucky man. Case you later, boy! I bet she's in. Okay, my king. Thanks for that. Really capped off a brilliant labor. Right, okay. I'll just leave you staring madly at the door then, shall I? Okay, um, I'll swing by for my next labor, um, whenever, I, I really don't care, and, oh, crikey, really got me there. Gosh, that was messy. Yeah, it was a, a lot of things getting eaten by other things in that one. That unfortunate Abderus fella was right, though. Heracles is shutting down. Everything is going to Hades in a handbasket for the poor lad. Still, dude gets the job done. Yes. But at what cost? Check on your mates, yeah? Yeah, check on your mates. So, for having an absolute mare. And making a meal of it. We have been... The, the Silly, Silly History, History Boys! Boys. And we are, as always... Sorry! Having a mare, Heracles and the mares of Diomedes, or as we like to call it, episode 96, was written, produced and recorded by the Silly History Boys. The parts of Heracles and Forger number 3 and Podargos the Swift, a terrible horse, were played by Will, Uncle Bilbo Tristram. The parts of Battler, Abderus, Forger number 1 and Danos the Terrible, also a terrible horse, were played by Stu the Pear Bear Perry. The parts of King Eurystes, the biggest poo head in Greece. Forger number two, the burly southern groom, and Xanthaus the Yellow, also a horse, were played by Tom, Tom Fermor. And the parts of King Diomedes of Thrace, the salty sea captain, Minty, a posh groom, the god Zeus, and Lamp on the Shining, also a horse, were played by your dear Uncle Bob Bob, Rob Bond. A big thanks to Zaps Blatt for music and sound effects. A big thanks to Scott Scotty Buckley for his wonderful tracks. More thank yous to Lord Fastfingers for our intro music. Please give us a rate and review on your chosen podcast platform. It really does help. Perhaps you'd like to chuck us a quid to stop on Kofi. Check us out at The Silly History Boys. You can get us on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, The Silly History Boys, or The Silly History Boys Show. Okay, everybody, thank you for joining us on another epic quest of the poor Heracles. He'll be back, you know, when else. Okay, see you later, bye. Enough! And actually, can you keep calling it the Hydra? And, and, and you know what? If you could pass that round to everybody else in the kingdom that it looks like the Hydra, that would be brilliant.